Welcome to another edition of the Mizzou Minute. I'm Todd Palmer, beat writer for the Kansas City Star, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the Missouri run game today. If it seems like that's an issue that we've kind of beaten to death early in the season, well, it's because it is. But it's also something that way back in the spring we started worrying about because depth at running back behind Russell Hansborough was clearly an issue as far back as those spring practices. It remained an issue through fall camp, and as we've seen these first few games, as Missouri's been unable to establish a run game very well against Southeast Missouri or Arkansas State, depth at running back remains an issue. Now, it's not all the running back's fault that they haven't been able to get untracked and really put up a dominating performance in the run game. Obviously, the offensive line needs to do a better job. Evan Bame talked today about the fact that, hey, listen, we just need to open bigger holes for these guys. But the the fact is that when Russell Hansbrough's in there, we assume, although we haven't got a chance to see it yet because he only had seven carries, but we assume that this would be a little bit different run game just because he's proven that he can be a home run hitter. He's a guy who's proven that he can uh, make the reads, press the holes, do the things that you need to do to be an effective runner at, at the major college level. We haven't seen guys like Ish Witter or Tyler Hunt or Morgan Stewart do it. And now we're going to find out if they can this weekend because Russell Hansbrough is not available against Connecticut. That means Ish Witter, who left the game after he got dinged, although he said today that he didn't have a concussion. He immediately took and passed the concussion protocol, so it was never an issue for him, but they kept him out as precaution. He's going to be the workhorse guy. And then you're going to have Tyler Hunt, who's had groin and hamstring injuries, and Morgan Stewart, who obviously missed last year with the hip injury, as the backups. It's going to be interesting to see how well the, the, the team does. Connecticut, quite frankly, I'm not sure that they're as good a team as Arkansas State is, so will Missouri be able to establish something? Will they be able to work out some kinks in practice this week and figure out a way to take some pressure off the passing game and move the football on the ground? That's going to be a big issue. And in a lot of ways, this is going to determine how good of a season Missouri can have. Last year, they needed to rely on the run game. You've still got those young receivers. If Missouri can't figure out a way to move the football on the ground, it's a problem because then you can't dictate the game, you can't dictate time of possession, and you put a lot more pressure on your defense. And as good as that defense has been playing, you don't want to make it them have to win every game for you every week. So Missouri needs to find some solutions, and it would be nice to see some of those solutions start this week. One of the solutions just might be Chase Abington. He's a junior college transfer who committed to Missouri at a high school, but then ended up going the junior college route. He came in late because he had to get some classwork done at Hutchinson Community College. He, When he arrived, he was out of shape. It took him a while to work his way uh, up the depth chart. But now with Hansborough's injury, he's, he's finally on the depth chart at number four. And Gary Pinkle said we might see a little bit more from Abington this weekend. So fans that have been clamoring for a little bit more Abington uh, are going to get the opportunity, it sounds like, this weekend. Read more about the Missouri's run game situation at KansasCity.com or on my Facebook page, TPKC Star. And as always, follow me on Twitter uh, as we get ready for the Connecticut game.